Welcome to NURSAT Satellite Station in Tel Lumiere TV. NURSAT Jordan Office, represented by its director, Dr. Basim Samaan, and the team, is pleased to extend its warmest congratulations and blessings to His Majesty King Abdullah II, Crown Prince Al Hussein, and to all the One Jordanian family on the occasion on a 23rd Coronation Day, praying to God to keep His Majesty and the beloved Jordan with perpetuity of goodness, health, and blessing, and that this memory will be repeated while peace has prevailed in the region and the world. Let's start with the headlines. The Royal Coronation Day is a luminous station in the modern history of Jordan. The Holy City celebrates the feast of the Visitation and bids farewell to the Marian month. For the first time after his Episcopal ordination, Bishop Jamal Dabis visits the Rosary of Aqaba. We also have Al Salt celebrates the ordination of Deacon Michael Haddad at the altar of the Lord. Welcome back. Within the framework of his weekly Christian teachings, and as he habitually does every week, His Holiness Pope Francis welcomed the believers coming from all over the world to the Vatican, where His Holiness contemplated and said, Most Holy Father, the English-speaking pilgrims and visitors wish to express to you their sentiments of deep respect and esteem, and to assure you of their prayers for your ministry as a successor of Peter. At the end of the audience, we will sing together the Our Father in Latin. His Holiness will then impart his apostolic blessing, which he extends in a particular way to the members of your families at home. He also intends to bless any religious articles you may have brought for this purpose, and in a special way, his blessing goes to your children, the elderly, and those who are sick. The following is a summary of the Holy Father's catechesis at the beginning of the audience. Dear brothers and sisters, in our continuing catechesis on the meaning and value of old age in the light of God's word, we now consider the words spoken by Jesus to Nicodemus. No one can see the kingdom of God without being born anew by water and the Holy Spirit. This spiritual rebirth does not negate or detract from the value of our earthly existence, but points it towards its ultimate fulfillment in the eternal life and joy of heaven. Our age, with its frantic pursuit of the myth of eternal youth, needs to relearn this truth and to see every age of life as preparation for the eternal happiness for which we were created. Jesus tells Nicodemus, God so loved the world that he gave his only son so that everyone who believes in him may not perish but may have eternal life. The elderly through their faith, wisdom and experience can bear convincing witness to the presence of God's kingdom in our midst and the authentic meaning of our earthly existence as a foretaste of that true eternal youth which awaits us in the new creation inaugurated by Christ and his Holy Spirit. The 9th of June embodies a bright station in the modern history of Jordan, as His Majesty King Abdullah II ascended the throne of the Hashemite Kingdom of Jordan on these days of the year 1999, so that during the reign of His Majesty the march of building the modern civil state, raising the edifices of the nation, and preserving its capabilities would continue. On the 23rd Coronation Day, Jordanians aspire to continue the march of work, leadership, and achievement and insist on remaining a model of the civilized state that derives its strength from the solidarity of its people and its wise leadership. His Majesty the King exerts great efforts as a protector and guardian of the sanctities of Islamic and Christian sanctities of the Hashemite guardianship over them. Jordan confirms the wisdom of its Hashemite leadership and the awareness of its great people that it is walking on a clear path towards a better future, despite the crisis surrounding it and the challenges it faces. On the feast of the visitation and the conclusion of the Marian month, the traditional Marian procession was held in the Holy City, presided over by his Beatitude Patriarch Pierre Battista Pizzabella, Latin Patriarch of Jerusalem, with the participation of many monks, nuns, believers, and members of the Catholic parish. The procession of the Virgin Mary toured the Latin Patriarchate streets of Jerusalem. During the procession, Patriarch Pizzabella carried the icon of the Virgin Mary, followed by a crowd of believers carrying a statue of the Mother of God. 
The procession began from the Monastery of the Savior, passing through the yard of the Freire School and then to the Catholic Scouts Cathedral, with an enjoyable performance in the streets of the Old Town. Before the start of the procession, a divine liturgy was held in the parish church of the Savior in Jerusalem, in the presence of Patriarch Pizabella, Bishop William Shomali, and a large group of believers. The Dormition of the Mother of God Church in Salt celebrated the ordination of Deacon Michael Haddad, a priest at the Altar of the Lord, by laying the hands of His Eminence Archbishop Christophorus Atallah, Metropolitan of Jordan for the Greek Orthodox. Father Christophorus Haddad, the spiritual head of the cities of Farhais and Salt, a number of the faithful and a large gathering of priests participated in the service. In the sermon of the Mass, His Eminence demanded the deacon Haddad and all the priests to be servants of the people and to deal with people with love and humility, and to continue going onto the right path and accept constructive criticism so that people would not flee from the church. He also advised them to carry the cross of the priesthood in all fields of service and not to be tempted to appease some people, advising the believers to intensify their prayers to earn God's pleasure. The School of the Sisters of the Rosary in Aqaba welcomed Bishop Jamal Ibis, the Latin Patriarchal Vicar for Jordan, on his first visit after his episcopal ordination to this rosary edifice. Upon his arrival at school, he was welcomed by Father Francis Shaheen, priest of the Latin parish in the city, pastor of the Roman Catholic Church in Aqaba, Father Ibrahim Hjazin, the nuns of the rosary, the administrative and teaching bodies, and a group of parishioners. During his meeting with administrators, teachers, and students, His Excellency appreciated the efforts of the school's officials to achieve the goals and missions of the Rosary Sister Schools in Jordan. Bishop Davis also celebrated the Tawjih graduate students in a solemn mass in which several priests and nuns and a crowd of parishioners participated. Latin Fahis Secondary School also held a celebration on the graduation of the high school students. The celebration included a divine liturgy in the Church of the Immaculate Heart of Mary Latin Fahis, presided over by His Eminence Bishop Jamal Ibis, Patriarchal Vicar for Latins in Jordan, with the participation of Father Imad Atwal, Father Imad Alama, and Father Matthew, the administrative and teaching bodies in the school, local community institutions, and a large gathering of parents, students, and believers. The welcoming speeches to His Excellency the Archbishop were delivered at the celebration, who in turn congratulated the graduate students and their families. At the end of the Mass, His Eminence distributed graduation certificates to the students amid signs of joy and happiness for all. The Latin Monastery School in the town of Smekiya in the Karak Governorate in the south of the kingdom held a divine liturgy for the school's graduates. The Mass was presided over by Father Akram Sharbash, pastor of the church there, in the presence of the nuns the principal of the school, Ilham Haddadin, the school's administrative and teaching staff, as well as students' parents. Their requests were raised during the Mass on the intent of the graduates and their families in an atmosphere of joy and reverence. At the end of the Mass, the students exchanged memorial photos and hearty congratulations with the attendees. Patriarch Raphael Sacco, Patriarch of the Chaldean Church, presided over the Divine Liturgy, which was held at the Shrine of the Rosary Sultana in Baghdad on the occasion of the closing of the Marian Month. In the homily, his beatitude focused on the importance of listening to the Holy Spirit and responding to its calls, indicating that achieving stability is one of the fruits of living in the immersion of the Holy Spirit and resorting peace in the world. Patrick Sacco stressed in his homily the importance of unity among Christians for the sake of a stronger church. On the occasion of Pentecost, his beatitude patriarch Pia Petista Pizzapella presided over a prayer for justice and peace which he had called to on behalf of the heads of the Catholic Churches in cooperation with the Episcopal Committee of Monks and the Confederation of Nuns in the Holy Land. The prayer was held in the Church of St. Stephen of the Dominican Fathers in Jerusalem. Several Metropolitans, priests of the Latin Patriarchate, monks, nuns, students of the seminary in Bejala, and crowds of believers participated in it. In his homily, Patriarch Pizabella stressed the importance of praying for peace and to an end to war in the Holy City, which is the land of all religions. Here, dear viewers, we have come to the end of our news, and those were the headlines. The Royal Coronation Day is a luminous station in the modern history of Jordan. The Holy City celebrates the Feast of the Visitation and bids farewell to the Marian month. For the first time after his episcopal ordination, Bishop Jamal Davis visits the Rosary of Aqaba. Al Salt celebrates the ordination of Deacon Michael Haddad at the altar of the Lord. 
For more information, please visit our website www.nursadjo.org. Thank you for watching. Until we meet again, have a good day.